in, or two, one USB in, two USB out, and then I can toggle between the two, not like have two simultaneously, because I have two computers that I code on, and I just want to easily switch it, basically. I found some adapter on Amazon for $15. It was supposed to come yesterday, but then I wasn't home, so they didn't deliver it, so classic. Um, I've been trying to find a KVM for switching between my Mac Mini and Windows PC, but using three monitors. Yeah, what is exactly is a KVM? KVM. KVM switch so keyboard, video, and mouse. Yeah, so I guess it's not really. A, yeah, maybe it's a KVM. Yeah, I'm looking up on on it on. Yeah, kinda. Mm. Yeah, so this one is just a, just it's just a USB switch, basically. That's what I think it is. Um, so that's kind of my jam. Because right now I have the monitors I just have on a different input. Some people dream so. success while you're gonna wake up and work hard at it. Nothing is impossible. Asterixes, thank you so much coming in for the four months with your uh, Twitch Prime. You only got one of those a month. You gave it to me. Thank you so much. Appreciate that, buddy. Cheers. <laughs> you can do it. Come on. Miguel tweeted about my town election. If he hadn't, I would have totally forgotten about it. Oh, always. Is there elections going on right now? Uh, hey chicken, how's it going? Going well. Over here, just back from holiday. Uh, went out to, um, we went on holiday for two weeks. I was gone in, down to New Zealand, Tonga, and Rarotonga, which is in the Cook Islands. So it was all over the place. Took lots and lots and lots of flights, but uh, back, just kind of soothing into the week, to be honest with you. Um, just for your town, President, not sure. Well, go vote. If you didn't vote, hope you voted. Yeah, it feels good. It feels good to be back. I'm just kind of easing in to everything, uh, I would say. Um, it was good to get completely off the grid, 100%. Um, it was nice being in the Cook Islands because I didn't even have cell phone reception there. So T-Mobile is like one of the one countries in which uh, they don't provide anything there, which is uh, pretty good. So, um, And then in Tonga... There was definitely internet reception, but not much. Ah, now I'm getting a package. Hold on. Hello? 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 Nice. There's like buzz everybody. Good work, Amazon. Uh, but yeah, so I've been... It was, it was a great, great holiday. It was super beautiful. Love New Zealand. Just did the North Island, uh, which was great. Wonderful people. Beautiful country. So that was really great. Um, but yeah, it was good to get away, basically. Uh, Asterix says, I've been working through the Zim... What are Zimmer vids? So I was interested in... I was interested with Shell, and they've been really good... But I really like to use Prism. Oh, I'm not sure. I don't know. They, I know that they're making changes to the navigation to allow the navigation stuff to work. Oh, I haven't been following David's streams because I've been gone. I've been out of the. I've been out of the. I've been out of it for like for so long. I guess I need to. I need to watch all of his streams wherever wherever that kid is at. Um. Hey, friends. Uh. I don't know. I, I'm using Shell in this application. Um, I've never really used Prism, but I guess you could use it in a, a few different things. It depends what you like about Prism. I guess I like that Shell already has a lot of the navigation stuff built in and passing query parameters around. So it just depends on what features you're looking for. And I guess maybe the constructor injector stuff might be there. You could use Shell without that stuff you could just use normal navigation and not the shell navigation and i'd assume that would work um i don't know though
Mm, I like their nav. I like their DI, but I I like their navigation. I don't know. You have to probably ask uh, ask Dan over there and see what he says. But I know the team was opening up APIs to make let them do that. So it just really depends because like most of the paradigms are the same, just the the tabs and and fly out and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I'll just ask Dan and see what he says. Wow. Anyways, I should probably yeah try it one day. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll have to go. I'm gonna have to go watch da David's streams. I was just talking to him earlier today. He's doing pretty well. Um, so I wanted to do some things. I wanted to specifically um, work on like a, a little carousel for featured items on the Hanselman Forms application. I thought that would be kind of cool on the home screen, like kind of have like a little carousel view because there's a lot of room on the home screen. So I wanted to do like a featured items where I, uh, my Azure functions return like a featured blob and then I can, you know, flip through it basically. That would be my my goal. So that's what I kind of wanted to, to do today in general. So let's see if I can, uh, let's see if I can pop over. I'm my KVM yet, so I need to like switch the USB manually. Switch in USB. Wow, 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 wow. All right. So my thought, if I was to get this thing up and running, was to first probably update some nougats because it's been th two weeks, two and a half weeks. So you know there's nougat updates. Come on now. Can update these things. Boop. 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 I also want to update my Azure function to v3 at some point. That'd be nice. Because I know it's now running on .NET Core 3, so I think it is at least. And it says 3.0, so I assume. But update these pups. Yeah, so the idea, if we go ahead and where's my device stuff? There we go. What's going on here? I'll get back one day. Everything is locked up. Boot up this one. Boop. There we go. Let's let's update that. That's good. These are all inside of the functions. Those are fine. I think that's fine. Let's just commit this. Just new get updates. Commit that. All right. So yeah, if we had Hanselman, it's probably some old code. But the idea is like this is a pretty small screen um, that we have. This is like an older pixel. But what I would want is sort of like a carousel view in this thing. Maybe like on top of it, you know, and that you can kind of scroll through and then you can scroll to learn more about Scott. So like up top, you kind of swipe, you know, not here necessarily, but swipe through some top items or you could swipe this one, I guess too. But my idea would be like, to swipe through like three or four like top items. So let's see, let me create a new branch and we'll call this uh, featured items. And the idea that I have here would be, let's say I looked at my, 
models. And I did a add a new class. Let's say we did a featured item. So that featured item, it's gonna have like a public string title. Maybe a public public string, maybe um image. Maybe a public string description. And there's gonna be other stuff in there, most likely. Like we'd have um we'd have some way of navigating to the other specific pages. Like maybe it's a tweet, maybe Maybe it wouldn't be a tweet, but maybe it'd be like a blog post entry, or maybe it would be a, um, a podcast or a video, and it would have, you know, some some info in there. Let's look. Let's say if we then did something in our data service, and we did like a new task of I enumerable feature. Item. Or do these all have models? Hmm. Right, so this should be just dot shared, I guess. I don't know why it's not that, but featured item and then get featured items. Um, oh, it's weird. Oh, this is just dot models. Right. So, cool. Uh, async, I guess. All right, so if we look at our services, I have a mock data service. So let us say that we just did something simple, which would be to implement that interface. Where did it go? Oh, it's right here. So if we did like var featured item, mm. so a a acorn. That's what I'm gonna say. Acorn, Quran. As how did you create the background effect on the avatar? So on the little Zamagon right here? Mm -hmm. Kim Philpotts did that. So it, it's a mask. It's a Zamagon mask with a Zamagon border overlaid on top of it. Uh, I should do a blog post on how I did it. So, um, all right. So we want to create a new items equals new list of featured item. So we have this image already in there. So we have like this. Let me just reuse an image, scott.png, right? So if we had a new featured item, image, we said like that, right? Then I think we did it like a four. Yeah, I'd show you now how I did it inside of stream or in uh, OBS, but it'd be kind of complicated and you wouldn't really see it because it'd be like all crazy. Yeah. Hey, go to. How's it going? Good to see you. Hope everything's going well. So, oops. Yeah, 
don't know why I do these hard castings, because I'm silly. Yeah, that is... series. I wish you could just do that cast for me automatic. I don't know why it doesn't. All right, so what else could we do? Um, um, bu 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 we could install our... We could install... Insult Jeff some, my Jeff Goldblum text placeholder, and <laughs> just do that. Uh, so this can go inside of my. I think just this one. I should really publish that as a. And there we go. I should just be able to do title equals Jeff some dot Goldblum dot receive the Jeff. Do it. Uh, I enumerable string. Oh, and this is just words. Um, I could just outputs. Uh, let's just do one, and I'll do a. Quote, maybe. It's a very interesting API that I've cr created. Um, all right, so a description. We'll do a Jeff sum. Got gold bloom. Dot receive the Jeff. Let's do a paragraph. Let's do one paragraph. Invention day tomorrow. Present my masterpiece that I built. Oh, very cool. That's awesome. Yeah, let me know how it goes. That's awesome. Nice. Um, so we have our mock data service, which is just this. And then what we have over is we actually have a normal data service and that's the one we're using. So I am just going to integrate this um, here. I guess I could have implemented a Do like a default. How do you do that? Can you do a C sharp eight features? What's new? Uh, where's it at? It is the default interface methods. Does this work? Uh, yeah, so it does that. Extend the default implementation. Mm. Can I do that? Is this how you do it? 
that'd be really nice actually. If I could just do something like this. As like the default, no? Oh, it doesn't work. How do you do it? This did a uh, static innumerable of featured item get featured. Oops. Yeah, let's get, we can just do get featured. The task of that. Why can I do that? Doesn't support default interface. Target runtime. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Guess I can't do it. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I thought I could maybe use that, but I guess I can't. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Alright, let's just put it in here, I guess. There's this. So what we did before, we would just do return mock dot. Oh, you would need to target .NET Standard 2.1. Thanks, Al. Ale? Al? Franz? That makes sense. Because it's actually uh, more than a compile time. It's like a feature. All right, let's do my own then. I can't just because I have a UWP project right now, else it would work. So that that's sad, but that makes sense. All right, so we have our app, and when we go to our about view model, what we really want to do is have a, it's been, it's been a hot second. I feel, I feel, I feel old, I feel like I'm forgetting everything. I feel like I'm forgetting everything. Load command, refresh command. There we go. Just shove this in here. Oop. All right. Okay, so we have a refresh command, a load command, data service, which is here. Service. Where do I get my data service? View model base. Man, it's been a, it's been a minute. <clears throat> I feel like you know you come back to code after like two weeks. And I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Like, what is? How do I even do a? How do I click a button? Get featured items async. And there's, I don't need to do that in there. Let's do a load command. Boop, boop. And this will just be a... Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Under the load. Featured. Then we have a public observable. This will be my items, featured items, featured items, get any one of those. Cool. All right. 
Load it, get it, featured items, got it. Debugging, that's good, that's good, that's good. It's refreshing, nope. System is busy, all right, cool. So, all right, this looks good. So, execute load command, get featured items. When I get the featured items, put them there. Then what we should be able to do now is if I come into my about view, boop, 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 boop. here we have a, we shove our view model right in here, great. Um, here. So let us not put that there. Let's put a D colon in front of it. Uh -huh. I don't have other D colon in there. Let's do that. thing Let's put that in there Boop. okay so we got that let's put this in here we'll do public about or just an about view model So then we'll just go here and we'll say about uh, binding contacts equals a new about page view model. Boop, 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 boop. We'll override on appearing and then we'll say if vm dot featured items dot count is greater than equals equals zero. Then we'll do vm dot load command dot execute null boom. All right. That was cool. Is that a new feature? It seems fancy. Oh. It was blue a second ago. I mean, that's, that's a... Oh, it's just holding down that. It's interesting, because it even says, like, VM is not null here. Hmm. Yeah, can't be null, I guess. That's cool. It, it literally says the yeah, image not null here. This needs to be as. Mm. Yep, that makes sense. Oh, that's cool. You like, can hover over and it says it may be null here. Is not null here. Is, is null here? Is not here. No. Yeah. It will always initialize the backing field. Hmm. Yeah. It should never be null here. Because this thing exists. That thing exists. Should all work out. 
Okay, so if we is carousel view under uh, feature flag still? Xamarin carousel view. It's still a preview. Oh, it is a preview. Um, introduction. Four dot three. I guess four dot four. Maybe it's not. All right, let's double check our setup code here. Oh, I put it there already. Cool. I think I was going to use it before, too, so might be it. All right, let's rebuild. And ideally, what we want to do is be able to flip through something. That's kind of my goal. That's my goal. Uh, yeah, that should be my goal. <laughs> scroll view that's good okay cool so let's try to run this puppy I think I should have also done a pull I don't think I pulled the latest sword I thought I pulled the latest source code let's see I like that. I like that. Um, I like that though. When you hover, when you have the null references, it says like it literally says, "Is not null here specifically." Like maybe null here. That's really cool. Just that little IntelliSense. All right, cool. So we have this, and then if I go here, I think what we wanted to do was maybe we have a row. And I'm thinking that what we could do is I want to have a, oh yeah, probably a, maybe a, a let me do like a progress no, a activity indicator. Let's just do is running to true and is visible to true maybe and then let's put that in grid dot column span two and grid dot row one oops okay and then i think what we want to do is like this height could be like i think it needs to be auto and then i think what you want to do is put it like This one's gonna go in row two. Here, let me save that. Okay. And then, yeah, do I have a style for this? I don't even know if I have a, a style for this. Let's look. Let's look at my styles. Refresh view background. I don't think I have a style for a progress bar. But I think what we want to do is be like, okay, we have this activity indicator, and I'm curious if I do like height of 200. What does that do? Makes it bigger. Um, yeah, it's a little bit big, but <laughs> I want to kind of do, uh, I think what I need to do is maybe like wrap. Yeah, I think I need to do something like this, which is going to be like, put this in a grid. Okay. And make this grid have the height row. Hmm. Height request. Is that gonna be it? Mm. 
vertical should be like center and then Hmm. Hey R2, how's it going, buddy? I think um I think I can I think I can put it all in this scroll view. Maybe put it on top. So instead of doing a Instead of doing this, not much. I'm just back from holiday, you know, just living, loving life. So uh, I think what I want to do is, yeah, shove this in here. One. And, oh, oops. Oh, I guess I could put this in. Here. I'm trying to figure out our two our two vertical. Okay. And I think what I'm gonna need. Some people dream of success while you're gonna wake up and work hard at it. Nothing, Nothing is impossible. impossible. Oh man, thank you so much, Bailasu. Thanks. Boom! You gotta do it now, because I said so. It's me, Tom. Thank you so much, buddy. Boom, sent thanks. Um, what just happened here? So, tier one, so 11 months on a 10 month streak. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Which pupper is that? What pupper, what's, what, what pupper is this? Ha ha doge. Ha ha doge. Is that a is that a normal one? Who's it? Ha ha. Do I need this? I need this in my life. Oh. Oh, oh my god, I need the ha ha doge. Oh my gosh. Oh, I need to go join a bunch more chats. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. Can't believe you got the doge. I need the doge. Oh my goodness. Okay, just relax. You can do it. Oh my goodness. Amazing. Alright, so. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little slider in here, okay? That's the goal. Any doges? We're trying to get a doge, actually, so. If we're lucky, we'll see. A little doge. So I think I think that the goal here is like, while this is loading, I want it to be the same height, but I think I need a, um, I think I just need a, like, let's stop this. So in our about view model over here, what I'm gonna put in here is a, Hmm, I'm gonna put in a boolean up here. Let's let's move this pupper up here. All those puppers. So I think what we're gonna do is put in a. I'll put in a. Uh, I guess I could put this not here. I always forget where I want to put stuff. I always feel like I want to. These are just public initializers. Let's put that down there. Let's put this here. Those I feel like should go together. So I need a bool has data. Oh man, how do I do that? Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, so bool has data, and then I'll do a public bool has data. I get to has data. Oops. And then a set to set property ref has data has data and then value. Okay, so and then here what we'll do is we'll do has equals true. And then here this will be has data equals false. And can do uh, has data equals featured items dot count is greater than zero. And I can do this here. Oops. Ref. 
right? And then put that down here. I'm not even gonna notify them. So it tries to load it. Like what you say, oh, it has data. So that way it's visible. And then here I can say, you know what? Uh, is visible a binding to has data. So only show whatever's in here, if that's true. And here we'll do a, uh, we're just gonna still set it to true for now. And then, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, so, so I think that's what I wanna do. Do, 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 do. I, oh, I see. You gave me an emote. That's amazing. Thank you so much for the uh, the sub too. It's it's good to get back and then get those subs, get that sub train going. We're gonna end out the year, and then we got some. Uh, um. Uh, oh. Does that not work? Is visible. Has data. I guess we should debug it. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Hmm. All right, let's try it again then. This should execute. Has data equals true, and then it'd probably be super quick, but it should have some items. That did not get executed. Uh, whoa, 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 who? Um, <laughs> there's all the Christmas ones. That's amazing. Haha, -ha Doge. <laughs> that's great. So good. Haha, -ha 2020. That's great. Uh, amazing. Uh, that's interesting. How come this didn't get hit? Was it running into that issue where like it was not? What is this thing? Error list. Using fast deployment and a code shrinker at the same time. Hmm. I think I need to though. Wait, how do I not have a code shrinker? Oh, I see. Sorry. Uh, it's already available on GitHub, yo. It's already there. Bam. Hmm, what is it doing? It's very mad at me. All right, let's try to clean. This code's always available, Gold Dev. Oh, it's mad at me. What's it mad at me about? What is this? Um, all right, interesting. Uh, let's also fix this thing up. Why is... Right, so this should be... Oh, I definitely fixed this up already. this file I just built it output oh featured item cannot be found what what is going on oh, maybe that thing needs to be built what is let me look at my configuration manager configuration man oh um I see a problem here people I see a problem here 
was like, how come my stuff is never being built? Because it's not being built. What is going, who did that? Who did that? <laughs> oh my goodness. That's great. Um, <laughs> like, huh, I wonder why it's not being built because it wasn't being built. Oh man. Any MVVM helpers compatible to shell? Um, there's basically just either I'm, I don't know, what are you using? I just use whatever's built in, but um, any specific MVVM helper things? I mean, I, you know, I don't know if the only two that would be like specific would be like fresh MVVM or Prism. No, I don't know. You'd have to ask them. I don't, I don't work on them. I think you just Google Prism, Xamarin, Forms, Shell. Someone asked me earlier, I said I wasn't sure actually. I think it's here. Yep, so just follow this one. Follow this thread. My my own MVVM helpers is 2.1, right? Um, no, it's oh, it's all of the things. Hey Kim, how's it going, buddy? Um MVVM helpers is all the things. It is No, it's not. It's just <laughs> It's just 1.0 and 2.0. So. There's no, there's nothing in 2.1 that I need. So maybe I could drop value tuple perhaps. Yeah. Oh, it's, is it Thursday? No, it's not Thursday. On a Thursday. It's, it's Wednesday there, Kim. Right? In the future. Oh, wait. The time zones. No, wait. That doesn't make any sense. You'd be... Um, Oh no, no. It says, ah, I was right. Cause I was just in New Zealand. And so I was just right over here. I was very close to you. I told you I was gonna be close to you. I was right over here. In the Northern Island. I was in the Auckland. You do get a whole, you get a whole nother day to work. Uh, we did Auckland, and then we did um, the the two islands here, Oaxaca and Rangatoto. We did some hiking there, drank a lot of wine here, and explored the downtown. Then we drove all the way down to Tapo in Lake Tapo, and did some hiking there. We stopped at a bunch of stuff. There's no monkeys in New Zealand, or New Zealand, as far as I understand. I could be wrong. Someone correct me. Um, but we did see all the thermal vents, which was cool. We also went to Hobbiton, which is right here, which is amazing. Um, we did the whole movie set tour, which is cool. It's very beautiful. I don't know my internet's loaded in. Oh, because I'm streaming. Uh, it's pretty fantastical. These are terrible photos. There we go. That's a better photo. Uh, for where they shot the movies. Yeah, it was amazing. You should definitely go. It was totally worth the money, the two hour tour. It was spectacular it's it's unreal so we did that and then we also did um tonga which is, well we did uh right here cook islands so we gotta keep zooming there we go that's the cook islands right here it's uh under new zealand-esque territory there's that we stayed over here in murray stayed over here we rented a car drove the whole thing which takes 45 minutes that was cool. And then we also, we had to go to Auckland because to get to Tonga, which is right here, Nukalofa, you had to go to Auckland and then over. So we went to Tonga, which is a kingdom, the kingdom of Tonga. And then we actually landed and then we went over to uh, this island and we stay on this island resort. So this is Fafa Island. It's a tiny little island. There an area? There we go. Stayed right over here. 
which is cool. And then um, we also took one of the boats in the morning out to another island as well. Not that island, but which island did we go to? Different island? This one? Yeah. This one? This one. One of the islands. We went to like, we went to eight islands, basically. The Tongo is a very interesting uh, culture and background. Super interesting, and uh, interesting reads. That's for sure uh, on the on it. But very cool. Uh, and then we were there on a Sunday though, and Sunday the whole all of Tonga shuts down. So yeah, it was super good. I'll, I'm gonna put it together a photo collection and stuff like that. It was really fun to go to like islands of places. Um, um, it was me and my wife. That was our honeymoon, and we went for 14 days. So over Thanksgiving, so we actually had more days off. That's the only reason we were able to go for so long. So we did like so we did. We landed in Rarotonga, spent a day, went to New Zealand for three days, Tonga for three days, New Zealand for three days, Rarotonga for three more days, basically. So we went. Yeah, just cool. All right, let's. let's up. Yeah, so it was, it was really great. I should do a blog post on it. Yeah, it's really cool. Right, let's see. What are two? There we go. Yeah, it was super fun. All right, there we go. Now we're debugging. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, yeah. Okay, so we're here. Now, if I look at my about page, which is gonna be in here. That was beautiful. New Zealand's super duper beautiful. Um, and we wanna go back to go to the South Island, that's for sure. We wanna go to Australia too. Yeah, go to Hobbiton. It's amazing. My my wife has not even seen any of the Lord of the Rings movies. Um, I gave her the Clerks 2 summary. And they basically just like walk and then drop a ring in. That's basically it. Um, basically it. And then uh, she loved it, though. So, uh, Okay, so we want, we want a carousel view. And what we want here is an item source of a, um, a featured items, right? And then I really need to understand how, how don't, I don't know how to use this thing. So, carousel view, data, populating it. All right, so we got some items, items, data binding, data, define a data template. Uh huh. Data template's gonna be x colon data type of featured. Where's my mm -hmm. that should be it now where did I just see that at so if I go here model shared Yeah, it was super rad. It was, uh, that, I mean, that wasn't necessarily the highlight, but it was definitely up there. 
that's for sure. Okay. Did I do it wrong? Must have done it wrong. Oops. Oh, cool. All right. So we have Hanselman. I just slapped some data in there. That's good. Um. I don't want this. What I really want is like a. I'll just do a title on there. Let's just get rid of this. And let's just get rid of that. And I should just do this myself. I don't know why I'm. You have to set the height in there. Oh, why is it so big? Oh, um, oh, I see. So it does a margin of twenty, and let's say we did like a one hundred. Why is it so big? Uh, what was, oh. Why the stack layout? Uh, that's a good... Uh, oh yeah, because you need to put it inside of something because it's a little bit weird because you want the spacing around here, but if you don't, then it doesn't know how to like... Yeah, space it. Like, I'll show you. Like, if you do this. See, so it doesn't know how to put the, the... It doesn't... It's not a margin away from anything. So you need to, like, fill it, and then... Yeah. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little bit of a bummer. Uh, and this frame actually will be a, you can tell that I'm basically, so dynamic resource a frame style Oop. there we go and we get a sweet frame style in there that we can flip through and that's rad cool 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 nice nice so what I'm thinking of doing here is that we could do like 10 probably around Oop. oh what is Oh, I guess you could do, oh, yes. Okay, so inside of here, I have a padding on this, and which we probably don't want, but we probably do want it in this frame, and we can do a margin of 10. Boop. Boop. And we do 10. And what I should really do is like set a background color of red, rosy brown, apparently. So I want to make sure like the spacing is correct here. And I don't really want any spacing on this. So there we go. Um, yeah. And I think here, what I would end up doing is just taking from my, I like the blog collection thing here. So I think something like, 
like this up top basically would be nice. So if I look at that, that over here. So if I looked at that collection view and we just grab the, this out of there, right? Oh, thank you so much, MJ Freelancer, for those bits. There's pancake view, frame, grid, grid. There's that. And then image. Flip over here, okay, um, cool. Put that in the stack layout. And then we could do a, oops. Do a stack later, 100 bits, oh my goodness. I don't even know how many were was there. There's so many bits. You are number one. <laughs> do, do, do. Oh, that's um, that's uh, that's the last um emote that somebody used. Yeah, do it. Do you can do an emote. So if I do, uh, let's see if I do a. Do, 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 do. <laughs> there you go. Um, Instafluff has a little has a little URL you can go to, and then uh, let me see where it's at. Uh, I have it on a different screen, but there's a URL that you can like, add your Twitch name to, and then it just puts the last emote on there. Mm -hmm. Boop. There you go. Those are right back. It's pretty great. Let's do that here. All right. Uh, let's format that puppy. All right, cool. Um, that's pretty good. All right, so what I'd want to do here is I think I want to do like a... Center that. Yep. Okay, so we have a frame. We're gonna do a margin of ten. Boop. So now we can flip through these puppies, right? All right, so then we can get rid of this. Cool. And what I can then do is put a, I can put a uh, label up here. I think here, put this label up. It's a large label. The stack layout, and I think here we're gonna put a. Uh... <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. I don't, I don't know how it picks which. One. Maybe it picks a random one out of all of them that are in a thing. Can it go back from three to one without stopping? You mean the carousel view? Um, I don't know yet. Uh, there are indicator dots somewhere. I, I, I like these full. We'll, we'll play around with it. Um, we'll play around with it. So I think here what I want to do is like, um, do like, uh, featured. Um, oops. And then 
think I think just we should always center this. It'll just look better. Oh, I didn't see the Nindy Direct yet. Should we all watch it together after this? We could do it. We could all watch it together and you could we could see in awe. We'll do that. Maybe at like uh, maybe at uh five thirty or something. We'll see what time Heather's getting home. Uh okay, so we're gonna get rid of this. Oop. Featured. Centered. Well that looks good. And then here we'll also do a about Scott. Right, and I'm done. So kind of we have these like headers, and then now we can just put a ten in here, right? Just do, do, do. And actually, I wonder if spacing should be ten, and then maybe I don't have to worry about. I guess I don't want it to. Um, right? Yeah, I kind of want it to be. I don't know. I might as well just do it myself. I'll do it myself. Was there anything good in it? Question mark exclamation point. I like that featured it's about Scott. Wow, it's so cool. Okay, and eventually we'll click on these. A few I liked. Yeah, we uh, they already recorded the podcast for the week, so it won't be in this one. Um, I'm sure we'll touch up on it briefly, but they always do that. It's like on Tuesdays, like we record on like a Sunday or a Monday. So I have so many games. I'm still playing Pokemon. I'm 20 hours in, uh, which is pretty good, I think. So um, this I like this carousel view. This is nice. I like this like all lines up really nice. Beautiful. Okay, so the other thing that I want to check on, though, is that... Okay. Okay. Choose item appearance at runtime. Uh, I don't need a monkey tongue so selector. Pull the refresh. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in this information. Remaining items threshold that we're having. Layout. Empty view. Oh, why don't I just do an empty view? Ow. Oh, wow. Okay, so. I did. So right now we have this grid. And I don't think I want that. I'm kind of curious if I did use this to my advantage. Which would be carousel dot empty. And then I can just shove that in there. And then I can just give the carousel view a height of I could I get rid of this grid? Oh. Less views? Question mark. Get rid of this grid. That's the empty view. I like that. Seems easy enough. I mean, there's a lot of uh, a lot of content in here. Very okay. Interaction layout. Scrolling. 
Ich komme auch runter. Scroll to. Sc scroll an item to it to at an index. So you could you can scroll. Someone was asking. Rock Rock was asking. So you can have it scroll pragmatically. If you're at the end and have like a like start over, you could be like start to the beginning. It would scroll over. It looks like um, you can disable it. Disable the thing. You can control the scroll position. I think they're working on activity indicators, but um, or um, little thingy snap points. Ooh, I don't know what snap points are. Mandatory. Let me look at layout. Um. Horizontal layout? Oh, I guess you do vertical. Um, it's just default. I don't know why there's so much stuff in here, but sure. Um, okay, so items layout. Linear. Vertical layout. I see what they said. Partially visible. Oh, okay. So, I'm not really exploring this thing too much. So, be, this would be... Oh, That's weird, it doesn't really pin at all. Now it doesn't flip. So now it actually flips, but if I did it before, snap points at that point partially visible adjacent items peak inset Full, fully number of side items item spacing by default each item doesn't have any empty space around it ooh Okay, so if we put this back, and let's say we got rid of that. Um, margin here. So I think, let's say we put this back to zero. This is what Kim was asking about. Like, why do we have, we did horizontal. Uh-huh, and then we did, a lot. It doesn't really snap now. Uh, uh, maybe 20? See, that doesn't really, it's not really flinging anymore. I don't know. I don't know if it's something's broken once you put it in an items layout. Maybe I need to... So you could do that. You could add this item spacing in here. Seems interesting. Let's do peak. What's that do? Oh. Um, items. Uh, items updating scroll mode. Items on each side. One. Oh, on each side. Oh, interesting. So I guess you could do. peak insets that means like that one will I mean I kind of like that quite a bit so you can see them I think here you still need the 10 
think that just looks better. So this is kind of like the view you kind of want, right? Which is like, as you peek, you get just a little bit on each side. That's cool. I don't know why that view isn't going all the way to the top though. Oh, this is the row. Looks pretty cool, and I don't know why it doesn't. That's not going to the top of it, or maybe it is just on my emulator. It's sort of oh the, I like the gradient gradients out very well although i would say that on this one it seemed to but maybe because it's going into a yeah i think this is just going into a black color up top you can't really see it fade in i like that featured okay so it looks pretty good and then all i did there was i just did the peak number of insets you don't want any side items because that seems wrong Right to left layout, flow direction. Hmm. Wish I had images for each of these. That'd be nice. Interaction, All right, so you can do respond to current item changed, blah, 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 don't need to do that. Command, current item change command. If I put a tap event on all of them, I guess, when I tap on it, it goes somewhere. So that looks good. Looks good. Okay. Position changed, command, and preset the current item. Hmm. So you can set the current item that looks like rock. If you just want to set it. You can preset it. Oh, that's interesting. Clear the current item. Disable bounce. Disable swipe. Wouldn't want to do that. Looks good. I wonder, is there a, um, did they add a uh, carousel view? Indicator, memory forms. Let's see. It's not done yet. All right, so there's that. Indicator views. Oh, oh, did I do it? What? No. Provide indicator shapes. Okay. Circles and squares. Is this in somewhere? Whoa, 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 who? Oh, whoa, 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 what? Closed by this. Oh my goodness, four days ago. Is there a nougat available? I need it in my life. <gasps> four out four. Is this live? Um, 
wonder if it's in 4.4. Let's see. Um, all right, let's stop this pup. I wonder if it is. That'd be so cool. All right, so if I go into Manage Nuggets, let's turn on the updates. We're gonna live dangerously here, why not? Uh, Xamarin forms release notes. Bam. Uh, 4.4 pre pre. Uh, image. Oh, that's GIF support. Carousel view preview. Indicator view. Wow, 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 wow. Beautiful. Uh, how does it know? Indicator view. Ooh, snap. What is this? Oh, that's so cool. Oh, intro. I guess you could put it inside of it. Oh, that is cool. Okay, cool. And I wonder if you tap on them if it knows to go to it. Let's see, um, did they do it? Still updating? There we go. There we go. Indicator view. And I guess the indicator view would go underneath said view. Uh, ooh. They removed this. That's interesting. Build. Oh, you know why this doesn't work? I think it just needs to be like that, right? Yes. And then Oh, it delivered them our package for USB splitting. We'll open that up live. That'd be sure. Oh, okay, cool. Let's see. Okay, just, just relax. You, you can, can do it. You know about tofu pupper, right? Tofu pupper. That's the tobe. Tobe. You're welcome. Best, best, best pupper on the internet. Ooh, oh, that, is that why? Which one do I have open? Uh, okay, cool. So. Yes, Tobe. I, I just today I was a little bit bored, and uh, I decided to yeah cut out from his latest one. <laughs> you can do it. Come on, come on. All right, cool. Um, <laughs> featured. I like this. Okay, so about page, and I guess ideally, if we put this, no, not here. Oops. Uh, I gotta do item source by. Okay, so you have to give it a name. So here we're going to do X colon name. I'll say featured. Yeah, this is an interesting one where this is like sourced by these items, this thing. Carosal. <laughs> I 
Thank you. Oh, you know what we also need to do? Oh, we also got to do a little uh, MJ freelancing. Oops. Cheered 100 bits on December 10th, 2019. Boom. Thank you very much. All right, so what happened is the question. That thing just blew up. It just was like, pew. Um, exception has been thrown. Okay. Whoa. Uh. Deep, something deep. Indicate, oh, I didn't turn on. Do I need to turn on indicator view flag? Oh my gosh. Come on. Come on. You're kidding me. That's too funny. How do I do this one? Set flags. It's just a, you know. Like, why did it blow up? Oh, because I need to turn on the flag. Silly, silly. You gotta do it now, because I said so. It's me, Tom. It's me, Tom. It's me, Tom. Boom. Okay, let's try this again. You. You are number one. Like, I, like, I'm still working on the, uh, apparently I'm still working on the, uh, <laughs> clips. Let's see. You are number one. There we go. Uh, hey -oh, we got indicator dots, people. Ba-doop, 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 ba-doop. Well, that one didn't go all the way. Bug. It's as if, uh, interesting. I think that it flips. This one just doesn't go all the way for some reason. And I bet it has to do with... I don't know. I don't know. It'd be cool if you could tap on it see it do it but 100 is still correct yeah, like 50 actually yeah. 75 just random numbers so here I'm kind of curious if it does have something to do with this I think it has something to do with, maybe it has something to do with the peak insets. Yeah, it has something to do with the peak insets. Um, that's good. Oh, I'm not logged in. Why am I not logged in? Why am I not logged in? Why am I not logged in? Why did I not have an authenticator code? Oh, because I'm logged out for some reason. Because I haven't been online in a while. Boop. Okay. Um, do, 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 indicator view. Uh, bug report, I can say indicator view, um, last, uh, last 
indicator doesn't go to last indicator when, what is this thing called? Um, the when I go when I go to peek inset the indicator view indicator view never goes the final thing final dot um, if it is set to Indicator, below it. Editor should reach the last item to be under Q. And then this one would be like not tested. Control mean three, and this would be four dot four dot pre pre. And I guess here it could be that's the same forms new get package. Let's put back in the inset of seventy five. See. Actual behavior should reach last item. Doesn't. Right, let's see. So do, do, do. And I really want to do what? Here on my indicator view, like gray. This should probably be whatever my um, push this code up just so they have it. Let's do that. Let us go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna push this code up. It's actually looking pretty good though so far. And let's save that code. Let's go to our Team Explorer, Home, Changes. We'll say updated, updated, NuGets, NuGets, uh, oh, added. Um, what was going on? Item and I think here. Okay, push these changes, push this branch, and then we'll give them this branch to look at.
So in any of these cases, if for some reason this thing doesn't load, I can also do that too. We can also do as is visible. It's pretty good. Besides that. And if I change this to like, also changes. Cool, cool, cool. And then the next thing that we really want to do is we want to make it so like these are podcasts or these are a blog and then you tap on it and it goes directly to where it needs to go. That would be like the next thing to do for sure. Are you able to customize the animation when you scroll to a particular item? Like the item grow? Uh, yeah, you can do that. Um, I don't think it's built. I think you just do it when you, um, like, if you looked at the, uh, there you go. This is what you want to look at. Um, yeah, like, so this is a good example of, uh, where's it at? Oh, yeah, that's a good one. So like this one kind of, my internet's slow over here for some reason, downloading. But this is a good one where it like actually rotates it and does it big and whatnot. That's a good one. I think Javier did that one, yeah. It's like a parallax scroll, so you can kind of move the items and do stuff if you have stuff inside of it. So that's a good one. And that one just, re and then that just requires some code. So basically you're looping into the events, you know what I mean? Um, but yet, I mean, like old school, like Android would have it, like the other ones are smaller and it kind of like zooms in or whatever. You could probably easily accomplish that, I think, for sure. Yeah, it's a good one to look at at least. Gives you a good heads up how to do it. Okay, looks good. Feel pretty good about that. The next thing that we want to do is we want to create a little, uh, like ideally we'd create a portal here where I could set this, maybe like a little ASP.NET website or a Blazor app or something. I think Blazor app that I could run and then it would, it would like upload the image for me to blob storage. Um, or even a desktop app, that'd be kind of nice. Like have another little app that basically just has permission to talk to a backend that will um, will enable me to like read data from the blob storage and then post items to the blob storage. Like upload an image, maybe like a little WPF application maybe. I think a website would be better. So Scott could just like go to a website like enter a credential and then upload data to the blob storage. Like, okay, here's the featured items, like up, move it up and down. That'd be nice, I think. Um, Cause right now it's just dummy data, but the idea would be like, he could, he could put the items in there and then like probably even trigger a push notification at some point too, I think. 
That'd be ideal, I think. Mm hmm. Those looks pretty cool, still. Uh, I do like it so far. some page that I recognize that didn't have um, that like didn't yeah, I think it was this one this is the page that didn't have it dynamic I think views podcast podcast details This is it. Better. And then the other thing I really wanted to look at was. He added like gradient stops on it, but I would like to do like a gradient stop where it like goes to transparent to not transparent. I mean, ideally, it'd be like um, offset. I don't know, like 50 or something. No, I don't know. Um, actually know if that does what I want it to do. Um, okay, pancake view. Forms. Mm -hmm. I think he, how do you did gradient stops? How did we do it? Uh, yeah, basically that. Gradient stops, offset, oh, 0 0.2, interesting, 1, so just like, that thing ha, 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 ha. looks terrible that's not what I wanted to do um, uh, that's funny okay so This 
thing is going to be, where is this thing? Oh, it's in my header. That's where it is. I see. not look ideal. I wonder if I need to do like So I'm just gonna remove all that. I guess let's move that there. It'd be nice to like move that up basically. I could pragmatically change that header. That'd be cool. happy with that so maybe on Friday then I can make the website that would go with it I think overall let me just check on that bug fix I just did I think that'd be good clean up code check it in boom that's good all right cool so oh, pretty happy about that um, and that looks pretty good. I wonder if you can change anything else on that activity indicator, though. Uh, what just happened? Oops. Rut row. Uh, oh, that's fine. Uh, if I go to the about page. What else is on this thing? Anything good? Mm. Cascade input transparency? No. Maximum visible. Mm, that makes sense. If it was you like maximum visible, it would be like two, three. That didn't change anything. Where let's look at it. Hmm. MJ asks, I had a question about your theme implementation. Can't find the file in question. Oh, um, yes. The theme files are located in App XAML here. These are all the themes and colors and things like that. And then in the styles folder right here. And there's a theme helper that does all the theme changing. There's a bunch of stuff in there, though. That's what it does it. Hmm. Yep, that's the one. That's the one. Quite a bit of code in there though, but yeah, it's totally there. Here's a few samples. Mm -hmm. This is nice. I like I like what's going on here. This is very nice. Alright, so
what is that theme for it? So that merges the themes together. So if you think about how the theming works, there's all these keys in the main theme. And when I want to override it, I have these keys and it merges and overrides dark and light theme options between everything that's in this main theme. So it smushes the themes together, like my resources with the specific overrides. That's what it did. Yeah, I took that basically off what Kim did originally. He like kind of had a bunch of stuff in there and I stole it. Indicator shape. That's the only other thing I see. Yeah, take a look at it. It's I, I need to really like probably blog about it mostly, but um, I feel like everyone's I'm way up, I feel blessed. Hey Linux94, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the crew. We're just finishing up some code over here. Dun, 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 dun. Figuring out if there's any cool indicator properties. I don't think so. Hide single property. Okay, so indicator. Apparently there's like an indicator. Shape. I'm way up, I feel blessed. Yes, man, thank you for the follow as well. Appreciate that coming in. Ooh, square. Oh, fancy. Like I thought there's just two. That's funny. Ah, circles are fine. Uh, is there a size? Oh, there is. Maybe like eight. Let's go if they're smaller. That's better. Yeah, it's uh there's a bunch of theme switcher things in there. I worked on that a, a, quite a, a long time. Um, the indicator. So, yeah, basically, yeah, how it works is whenever the app starts. There is a, what is it at? On resume, I think. On, uh, it's actually in the constructor. So change theme. And when you change theme, it goes and it figures out what theme you want to set. Um, and it just goes through and it gets my current resources that I have. That's like the current dictionary then I figure out the new theme which is gonna figure out light dark theme whatever I'm gonna do back and forth that's the default um, and then I take the new theme all of its dictionaries and then I merge them into the into here I don't know Kim wrote this code and then it like overrides the key it just smushes the key it says like it says first like if there's any merge dictionaries add add and merge those dictionaries in which I don't use this code at all so there I don't use any merge dictionary so I could remove that actually like ideally here I would just remove I don't I don't like merge dictionaries that much so like that would just that would work too and then I, I basically copy it so it just smashes it together and then that's it that's it then I set the current theme equal to this and then boom. Yeah. Cool. All right, I feel pretty good about that so far. Seeing I didn't know anything about Carousel View, and it seems like it's come a long way. So, yeah, let me know. Yeah. It works fairly works fairly well. Like here, if I do light, you just mark everything with dynamic. So what I did in the code, how I do things is hmm. 
of interest. So if you go into the code, you can look at the, um, so what I do is I, I mostly am just changing colors. So I just have color keys here. And then anything else down are just styles. So like I have a refresh view style, a frame style, a picker style, a base label style. And then I just apply, apply these styles and these all, all have dynamic resources. So all I'm doing is just jamming the differences. So if you look at the only thing you really need to do is just specify colors. Like what colors do you want it to be basically in the themes? That's it. Yeah. I like this one a lot. I think it's a really good, simple implementation. Yeah, very, very simple. Like just mash the colors together basically. Uh, I'm very interested in what is kind of curious over here. Oh, yeah. I was like, I think everybody has a bug of zero viewers. I was like, I was wondering. Two viewers. Classic Twitch. Whenever I stream. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I have no idea how many people are. Yeah. Uh, all right, cool. Let us. Yeah, I think it's super clean. I kind of took what. If you do merge dictionaries, I just it's too much for me. I, I, just, I don't know. I feel like I don't need to separate my stuff out. It's not that much. I'm just adding more complication, but I just add the, the my own sections. I wish you could do region. I guess you could do regions inside of here, but I was like, I, I saw my number like dwindle and I was like, that's not right, Twitch. All right, classic Twitch. All right, um, let's, um, let's go and, um, let's go and try something real quick. Let us try something over here. And, all right, cool. Um, cool. Let's close that down. Let's go here. Let me go over here. Let's see if this crashes my computer or not. Hmm. There it is, 20 minutes. Right, let's check this out. All right, so let me go ahead and do something here. Insert display capture. Oh gosh. Do, 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 do. Still here. Still here, Kim. Still here. I'm just trying to figure out something over here. Oops. Right, that's not gonna work. I uh gosh darn it. That's not gonna work either. <laughs> How'd the meeting go? Did it go good? Correct either. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out something, which is not going well. Let me see here. So, new, maybe a window capture? Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, there we go. 
that work? That did not work. Hmm. Lots of OBS discussion. That's good. I like that. Well, what I was trying to do, which I can do over here, I guess, is delete that. Let's add a window capture. Nope, not a window capture. I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing? Display capture. There we go. <laughs> All right, see you guys. I was going to try to boot up the uh, Nintendo Direct. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. There we go. I just kind of like overlay this video on top of it. Let's see. Uh, where's my thing at? Let me know if the audio is okay or not. The power of, of capture card and desktop capture. What's going on here? You're getting this sports story. Looks pretty cool. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us. You're welcome. I'm Kirk Scott. Hey Kirk. Friendly neighborhood indie guy. And I'm Sam Robertson. Sam. Welcome to Indie World. A look ahead at some great indie games coming to the Nintendo Switch system. We're thrilled to kick off this edition of Indie World with. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah. I um, I have two switches, and I don't know where my Switch light went. I have a Switch and a Switch light. And sharing games between it is extremely complicated. Uh, that is for sure, 100%. Um, so don't try to do that. But if you're just using them separately, then you'd be good to go. Sports are mid-2020. That's not bad. Let's see what else. 2020. Next. What's next? So what I do is... If you have cartridges, that's the best way to do it because you can put a cartridge in anything and that, then it doesn't matter. So if you have kids and you want to share games, buy physical copies. Don't buy downloadable stuff, basically. Um, any good games that do Bluetooth multiplayer? Yeah, so almost all the games do local wire, wireless multiplayer, just over Wi-Fi, not Bluetooth, just over Wi-Fi. So you'd be good to go. Yeah. Looks like a beat -em up of some sort. Okay. So yeah, you'd be getting oh, Streets of Rage 4. Oh, I was going to say, it kind of looked like Streets of Rage. That's what I thought it was. Yeah, so like, do Mario Kart, just get by Mario Kart. Yeah, the problem there is if you want to do multiplayer, you got to buy multiple cartridges. Yeah, Mario Kart, Smash, Mario Party, that's a good one too. Yeah, like that. Konnichiwa. <laughs> oh, it's Ethereum Publisher. Okay, 
その世界の中でプレイヤーは一本の釣り人となり子供たちの力を借りて強大な敵と戦ったり世界などで迫ったりします、うん、美しくも恐ろしいステンドグラスの世界であなたは何を感じるのでしょうか yeah, And then, even if you download games, you can't. Just imagine if you turn into a sword. It probably would be kind of freaky and. Then, even if you buy downloadable titles, you can't play them on the primary and secondary console at the same time. And so that kind of stinks, but you just buy multiple, basically, is what you got to do. And then you could download it multiple times, too, but you know, that way you could at least pick up a used copy or something. But it, again, Sort of depends on how many multiplayer games you're going to play. But yeah, I wish there was a way to do like one copy, one like, like DS, D, the Nintendo DS, like digital download play, basically. But And today we're going to be showing you our brand new game, Bacon Switch. Oh, Kuala Lumpur. It's a uh, violent, cute couch co op game that I think you're going to like. There's so many indie like games it. that are multiplayer. In so fact, we liked it so much, we made it about food because we like to eat. That's pretty good. No. Yeah. Mmm. That's pretty. Huh. It's a waffle. Wow, that's the bliss ball right there. <laughs> there you go.、Mm. So, we hope you guys like it. More importantly, we hope you enjoy it because we had to work really hard on it, baking this and making sure it works. So, please enjoy it and let us know what you think. It's cool they're putting the, the developers out there. Dough things,、oh. They simply must be sacrificed to the guardians of dough. And so, in this party brawler, you and up to three other players need to work as a team. To punch, combine, and bake those doughs before time runs out. This in your face co op action may be easy to pick up, but trust me,、hmm. it's tough to master. Yeah, that said, though, there's tons of games like Mario Kart and Smash and where you just need one console, like up to your TV, and then、Baking、you'd be good、Switch、to go.、So. Cook up something special on I mean, that's the way to do it.、Uh, else, you could do multiple, but most of the games do. It's picking up the wrong microphone. Sounds like, at least. It's a love letter to game culture. Super Smash. Super Mash. The magic of Super Mash is what we didn't do. The games it produces are not scripted. It's the game itself that mashes the genres together. It creates a different game every time you play. Interesting. You never know what it's going to do. Just do me one favor, okay? This is the code to my. Favorite mash. When you pick up Super Mash for the Nintendo Switch next year, put it in and let me know what you think. Mm -hmm. Not a big creator. Snap that code. Pick two classic genres, okay. That's kind of cool. Interesting. Yeah, that's not for me. That's not for me. I guess, yeah. Oh.、Mm, interesting. That's super cool. What a great idea. That's a very interesting idea. Not for me, though. Not for me as far as、um, type、super、of game. Cool,、Switch、though. In May cool idea. That's neat. What would you do if the world around you was as strange and contradictory as ancient ruins filled with advanced technology? Well, in this first person puzzle game, you're about to find out. Tasked by your creator with solving a series of complex puzzles, you'll divert drones. Manipulate laser beams and even replicate time to prove your worth or find a way out.、Hmm. Who are you?、What's、Who am I?、Purpose? I don't know. To, I、If、ask myself that every day. Path through this non linear world,、hmm. uncover the clues you need to、Tetris. decide for yourself. You'll have more than 120 puzzles to solve when the Talus Principle Deluxe Edition、hmm. comes to Nintendo Switch no, later today.、It. Skip. Ah.、Oh. Nothing quite like a high seas adventure combining classic naval action with epic. I like that. I like naval action.、It、really makes you want to expand your fleet and do battle with pirates, sea monsters,、like、pirates. and the sea itself. The entire map is procedurally generated. Don't like that. All across it, you'll discover islands to explore、That's、and、cool. quests to take, from rescuing sailors、mm. to looting pirates. 
and you'll do it all from your custom boat. You pick the design, colors, weapons, and equipment. As you progress, you'll add new boats to your fleet and give orders to the crew on boats you aren't sailing yourself. Better keep track of the wind and use physics to your advantage. When sail forth, That's sails pretty cool. I like sailing the games. If they do them right. It's pretty cool. Hello, everyone. Hi. I'm Nick Clifford, developer here at Phoenix Labs. Since you last saw us during Dauntless. Nintendo Treehouse nice. live at E3 earlier this year, we've been hard at work developing our hit online action RPG Dauntless for the Nintendo Switch system. Nice. We're absolutely thrilled to Whoa. share a fresh look at our game. Beautiful. Including the reveal of our new content expansion, Storm Chasers, complete with the Sky Fighter armor and Sky Metal weapon set. Very cool. These cosmetic items will be available at launch exclusively to players on the Nintendo Switch mm. for free. We hope For you free. enjoy nice. your first look at the next evolution of Dauntless, and we'll see you in the Shattered Isles. I'm ready. It's free. I'm in. Because there's big monsters, you gotta take down the big monsters. That's why I need big swords. I'll buy this game. Basically, Monster Hunter co-op, I think. Online, that's cool. Yeah, I like Monster Hunter Worlds. It's cool, though. I like Monster Hunter a lot. Apparently, Worlds is amazing, so. Slay on. Today? Where's my switch? Get my switch ready. Play now. I'm in. I can get in it. In Dauntless, you're all that stands between your Whoa. world and the massive boss-sized behemoths that seek to devour. Uh, with cross-platform and cross-region play, cool. you can slay with your friends no matter where they cross play. Cross pro progress. And with cross-save functionality, mm. you can take your slayer on the go with nice. the Nintendo Switch, no matter where you began your adventure. Oh, uh, that's cool. So form a hunting party Good work. and forge your legacy. With challenging co-op battles That's great. in this rich, evolving world. Wow. Create deadly weapons and powerful armor from the very creatures you slay. And immerse yourself in rich customization and crafting systems. Mm. Look forward to regular free content updates featuring new challenges, new behemoths, and Is more the whole thing free? When Dauntless launches as a free download That's on crazy. Nintendo Switch D uh, DLC. Today. I think it's gotta be uh, it's gotta be microtransactions. Hollywood. The right. 90s. An actress hat on packs. a hit TV show. You gotta have the hat packs, finds yeah. herself starring in her own it's definitely what it is. You gotta have those hats. and your robot scout crack the case one nonogram at a time? Guess your only option is to dig up clues while jamming out to tracks from Masakazu Sugimori, the composer behind Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney oh, and cool. Beautiful Joe. Along the way, you'll interrogate weird and wonderful characters designed by Hato Moa of Hatoful Boyfriend fame. From TV studios to glitzy award shows, you must uncover a tangled nope. web of right conspiracy, back. deception, and, of course, murder, as you piece together the truth one pixel at a time. It's no longer a mystery. Murder by Numbers launches first as a timed exclusive on Nintendo Switch in early 2020. This mysterious bounty hunter is a stranger to everyone, because that's his name. He doesn't take kindly to guns but he will kindly take your moolah in exchange for the bounties he collects. Why? He needs the cash bad. And he'll hunt down every outlaw in Mongo Valley if that's what it takes. Problem is, there's a bounty on his head too. In this action adventure game, you'll wield Stranger's unusual crossbow that fires off rounds of live ammo, from rodents to bugs, and you'll ah, earn bigger bounties bozzing, for live captures. With updated Stupid. FPS controls and gyroscopic What am I looking at here? The definitive version of this classic is fast approaching. Oddworld, Stranger's Wrath. Oh, Rath cool. Stranger's Wrath. Nintendo Rath. Switch cool. in January 2020. Nice. You can pre-purchase it later today. Oh. Oh, man. Why is this so <laughs> adorable? Look at this bird. You take an ordinary skateboard, no. you put a bird on it, and just look at him go. 
Who wouldn't want to be a skater? The Tony Hawk. Whether they're grinding the original bird. Straws, kick flipping over staplers, <laughs> Tony Hawk's bird skater. Through a park held together by sticky tape. <laughs> Skateboards always try their best, don't they? It's like a kick flip. Explore each park, collect tiny clothing, help out fellow birds, and find secret mixtapes of original lo-fi bird hop tunes. <laughs> Before long, you'll be catching air like only a bird. Man, I love Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. Amazing. On Nintendo Switch I hope Skatebird is a Tony Hawk property. It's too good. The, the problem is that it's just, it's just too good of a game, the Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. It's too good. It's like you're living inside of a comic book. That's kind of cool. Liberated. That's cool. I like that. You saw it for yourself in the trailer, people. Liberated blends the art of cyberpunk, hand-drawn graphic novels with interactivity and action to create cool. one seamless experience. In this near future hmm. dystopia, the eerily familiar. Oh, that's a different, different take on it. Complete government control. That's kind of cool. But that won't stop an insurgent group called Liberated from rising up. But this is no simple tale of good versus evil. As you flip between pages, side-scrolling stealth gunplay and platforming action, you must witness what transpires from many points of view to mm. parse the truth. Liberated will release Liberated. first as a cool logo. exclusive on Nintendo Switch Walk about. in 2020. Hmm. Hi, we're Hi. Fox Games, and this is our game Boyfriend Dungeon, a dating simulator dungeon crawler mashup. <laughs> we are super excited to announce that Boyfriend Dungeon will be coming to the Nintendo Switch, which means you'll be able to date your weapons at home and on the go. I like that they have like the me, devs on. You're it's never cool. going to forget your summer stay at Verona Beach, where you're tasked with clearing out all the creatures in the dungeon. Oh, and it only gets better because the weapons you can find there transform. Into cuties and nice. I like gold. cuties. Forge precious memories with your many loves and use your individual combat styles to clear out all the monsters <laughs> as you uncover the dungeon secrets together. Did I mention romantic dates? Oh, be still my heart. Oh, and there's also the Nintendo Switch exclusive HD Rumble function. Level up your love when Boyfriend Dungeon <laughs> comes to Nintendo Switch in 2020. It's interesting. It's kind of Sometimes cool. the only way to face a tough subject is head on, even if that means battling a nightmarish depression living inside a young woman's subconscious. Oh my goodness. Thankfully, you'll have an expansive combat system on your side, combining a brawler, a top down shooter, and a dungeon crawler. Every time you slumber, you'll face another randomized Whoa. dungeon found in one of the game's That's beautifully cool. haunting dreamscapes, littered with powerful artifacts, challenges, and puzzles. Forge friendships in your waking life and use their hopes and dreams to dispel the darkness mm. within. You'll some very super interesting games. Lucid powers hmm. that alter the flow of time and space. When Dreamscaper launches first on Nintendo Switch as a mm. timed exclusive on consoles. In Love those timed exclusives. Hey everyone. Hey. We're extremely excited to reveal a brand new game we've been working on at Team 17. Nice. We've combined crafting, base building, and survival, along with a few surprises. In a new adventure set within Is the it Worms? I hope it's Worms. And on Nintendo Switch, you can play with three of your friends in local wireless and online multiplayer. We hope you enjoy the video. Craft. <laughs> Build. Like a monkey. There's a monkey. Oh my goodness, there's a whole game about monkeys. Oh my god, I'm getting this game. Oh my god. More monkeys. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna get this. Oh, that's from the escapist. That makes sense. It looks like the escapist. If you can just train all the monkeys, that's all you, that's all you need. The survivalist. Oh, interesting. Monkeys! That's cool. I like that Whether one. You're crafting, building, or I yes, believe you can expense anything monkeys. with monkeys in it. Survival can. is the name of the game. Look at these monkeys. These procedurally generated mm. islands are alive. 
They with change monkeys. during the day night cycle, and they're riddled with adventure and a wealth of secrets. As you or your monkeys gather resources and craft items, you'll uncover your own recipes and multiple crafting trees. That should help you overcome the hidden threats lurking within temples, full of exotic riches and slick weaponry. You can play co-op locally or online with up to three friends who each have their own game hmm. and system to try and survive together. However, not everyone will be pleased to see you thrive. The Survivalists releases on Nintendo Switch in 2020. Mm, that's true, no humans have hair in that, not in that game. We're coming to the end of our uh -oh. presentation, so we'd like to take a moment to thank all of our partners for giving Nintendo Switch owners so much Yeah, that was pretty good. To. I like that. Well said, Kirk. On behalf of Nintendo, thank you so much. And thanks to all of you for joining us. Although, now that I think about it... One more it, thing. There is one more thing. Hi, I'm Tom Hack creator of Axiom Verge. I just wanted mm. to take this moment to thank both Nintendo and Nintendo fans for the love you've shown Axiom Verge over the years. I've been quietly working on the next installment of Axiom Verge for about four years wow. now. Here's a sneak peek. I still need to play Axiom Verge. I own it, I'm pretty sure like five times. It looks could be it could have been a mono game game. Yeah, I think it was I think it was Fall 2020 interesting noise It's pretty cool. I like that Pretty good. All right, Belly.io. Let's see if anyone's programming Is anybody programming? Do 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 do. Mm -mm -mm. First kissings is doing some stuff. Let, let's go over to the. Let's, let's, what's Crumpinator doing? Let's see. So we can send people to the Crump. Do that. All right. I'm going to head out, everybody. We'll, we'll raid uh, Crump, I guess, because Crump is on. Let's do that. And we can go from there. All right, everyone. Have a great, 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 great day. And I will uh, talk to everyone on Friday. I'll be back on Friday. All right, cheers. Bye.